Let's have an in-depth analysis about the livestock census, the 20th livestock census, the reports for which have been out. Now, livestock census is conducted every five years. It is started back in 1920s when you had the first livestock census that was considered. And you have the counting for the various bovines, various animals that takes place. Most of the livestock counting, this was for the first year that tablets had been used and this was an online uh, platform where all the data had been entered. Now if we look on to the statistics, these are some of the important findings that we have for, he uh, for you here. Of which if we look on to the cattle, the population trend is interesting. In 2012, you had Uttar Pradesh with the largest population but slowly and gradually this is shifting eastwards and now you have West Bengal with the highest population. So this could be part of your general questions that are there. So you must need to know some of the highlights. Now, if you look on to some of the very specific cases, for example, camel, mithun, uh, you have donkeys and horses. So these are some of the major uh, centers, I would say, where you have a significant change in the population of which the population of Mithun has increased 30% over the year, over the five year period. And that is really, really remarkable. Now, why does this happen? If we talk about the case specifically of Mithun, Mithun is a state animal of Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland. Uh, in Aruta Arunachal Pradesh itself, the population has increased by 40%. Also, uh, this is... Uh, considered a sacred animal because brides give uh, this to the bridegroom's family and this is a kind of uh, practice that is there during the marriage rituals that are there. So uh, there is a kind of exchange between the bride and the bridegroom with the mithuns that are given. Also, most of the tribes of Arunachal Pradesh consider this uh, as an animal which goes with sago palm harvesting. So wherever you have the sago palm harvesting, you would have the mithun that would be seen. The only difference with the mithun and the wild gore is this is a little shorter in height with short legs you could say. And uh, this animal is also known as gayal. So that's another name for this animal. The next important animal we would discuss today is yak. Now the population of yak has shown a interesting uh, change in Jammu Kashmir this has declined by 51% however in Arunachal Pradesh it jumped up by 70% now how does these changes occur uh, the studies have revealed that climate change and heat stress are some of the major factors that have uh, led to panting in yaks and decrease the population of yak significantly in the Himalayan regions so climate change is one of the major threats to this animal. This animal has a capability to survive up to minus 40 degrees Celsius. However, minus 13 degrees Celsius is considered good enough for this uh, animal. You have numerous breeding centers that have come up. Now, Arunachal Pradesh, the population has jumped up significantly because two regions, mainly the Tawang and the West Kaming, are the areas where you have seen the yak breeding centers that have come up. And these breeding centers have led to significant increase in the population population of yak in the regions of Arunachal Pradesh. Also you have the Borkpa tribe. This Borkpa uh, nomads I would say are the nomads which rear yak in the regions of Arunachal Pradesh. So Arunachal Pradesh you have a jump that is seen. Jammu Kashmir a decline but still Jammu Kashmir has the highest proportion of yaks that are seen. Coming on to the population of mules, you have Uttarakhand with the highest population. The population of both the horses and the mules and donkeys rather, the three of those has declined significantly. The reason being mechanization. With lot of mechanization, what has come up is uh, people are moving to alternate forms of transportation and the nomads are slowly and gradually giving up uh, these animals. Camel has shown a significant decline. Now, it's interesting to note that in India, there has been a significant decline in the camel population. However, this population has increased dramatically in the regions in P uh, Pakistan. Why it has been so? Now, camel meat is being consumed a lot, uh, mainly in the regions of Bangladesh, because of which you have uh, the illegal smuggling of the camels that take place from Rajasthan. So, that is one of the reasons where you have the decline of the 
camel population that is seen in India. The second reason is attributed to again the mechanization. So now no more uh, nomadic activities are required and you have mechanization. So camels are not used as a means of movement. The third important reason is the Raikas. Raikas are the tribes that rear camels. And these tribes are significantly uh, losing their stake in holding the camels because they are not having enough to feed the camels. The fourth important reason for the decline of the camel population is uh, Rajasthan state declared this as a state animal. As a result, you had a regulation that came in uh, which talked about prohibition on slaughter and regulation on the temporary migration and export of camels. As a result, the camels were not exported out of Rajasthan. The third, uh, the next important reason is a disease that affects the camel and that is known as trypanosomiasis. So, trypanosomiasis basically uh, is a disease that affects or leads to stillbirth in camels and has significantly reduced the population of camels. So those are some of the major factors and reasons why we understand the population decline has occurred. So these are some of the statistics that you must be well aware of before we begin the uh, general trends. And as you can see, you have a significant change in the population of the livestock that is seen. West Bengal, the proportion of livestock has significantly jumped. Telangana, the proportion of the total livestock has significantly jumped. Now in Telangana, it's mainly because of the poultry. In West Bengal, it's mainly because of the cattle population that has increased. However, there has been a decline which is registered in the total livestock in the regions of Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan. Now, talking about the census reports, the total livestock increase has registered to be 4.6% and uh, you have the maximum proportion that is seen as cattle. Then the next significant proportion is buffalo followed by sheep and other animals. So this census, as we said, brings in certain data and certain regulations and certain rules that are very very important to understand and thousands of enterprise household non-household are analyzed and these are some of the statistics that are laid forward so those statistics would be available in the handouts these could be an additional point for your subjective answer writing session then coming on to the categories under which you had registered a significant change so as i talked about the proportion of donkey mule horses yak and then you had the proportion of pigs which has significantly cha changed the camels have reduced significantly it's believed that if the decline in the camel population goes on at the same pace it could be declared as endangered by IUCN classification also the highest decline has been registered for donkeys followed by mules and horses this was followed by camels so these are the areas where you have seen highest decline the highest gain as you can see in, uh, see is in the population of Mithun which is considered as an state animal of Arunajan Pradesh and as we have seen there has been a jump of 40% in the population of Mithun and Arunachal Pradesh. Also this is considered sacred among several tribes in Arunachal Pradesh. But in the neighboring states of uh, Nagaland, you have a decline in the population of Mithun that has been seen. So those are some of the important aspects that you need to understand. Now talking about cow versus buffalo and exotic versus indigenous. Now this is a very important question. Over the years, we have seen that the exotic breeds have increased. The reason being you have in milk cows that are more uh, considered important. And this is working as I would say a reverse uh, uh, gender ratio as in the human beings. So in the human beings, we are concerned about declining sex ratio. Here it's vice versa. You have more increase that has been registered for the female cattles and the female buffaloes. So female cattles have gone up by 18% uh, from the past census. Female buffaloes have increased by 8% from the past census. However, the male cattle have uh, decreased by 30% from the past census and male buffaloes has declined by nearly 42% from the past census. So that has been the change in the male and the female. You have the cattle and the buffalo population. So that's very, very significant to understand that in milk cows uh, are being used. Exotic breeds are being used because uh, these cattle point to higher use of hormone and uh, there are ways to boost lactation for those cows uh, and cattles again so you have the indigenous population that has been declining 
mainly in the areas of Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, and Maharashtra. And farmers are now moving towards buffaloes. Uh, the buffalo increase has significantly been seen in the regions of Madhya Pradesh. Also, since uh, uh, later on, uh, when the dry cow, the dry cattle, we could say they uh, cannot be used as uh, for the meat. So what? Uh, farmers are doing is they are substituting to other bovines so they are moving to buffaloes and other bovines so that is one of the reasons that you have the cattle population that is being affected okay the next important thing uh, we are trying to understand here is talking about the poultry so as we said you have a significant increase that has been seen if we see the list of the poultry population you have Tamil Nadu that tops it, uh, tops it followed by Karnataka, uh, followed by Kerala and Karnataka. Also, you have seen a significant proportion of increase in the poultry. Most of the increase has been registered in backyard poultry and not the commercial poultry. So, backyard poultry, we say nearly 45% increase has been seen. However, commercial po uh, poultry, you have around only 4% increase. But Overall, if we go on to the summary, the first uh, table that we analyzed where we had the states and the best performing states, those are really important for each of the animals that have been considered. The next important thing is why there has been a significant change in the proportion of yak, proportion of camels and uh, you have the Mithun population that has been affected. So those are some of the key highlights from your livestock census and definitely stay tuned for the coming years and we would have the population census details that would be coming up. Enjoy your day.